Hey guys, Ariok here. Uh, I know it's been a couple of months since we last seen each other. The reason for that was a lot of computer technical problems. Yeah, what else is new? Anyway, on today's Off the Cuff, we're going to be looking at British Darbies, otherwise known as Snap Handcuffs. That was the official name given to them by uh, the Hyatt Company. And Hyatt, which we'll get into, has been pretty much the major company to produce British handcuffs for the past, oh, 250 years or so. Now, there's been others, and we're just going to look today at the design of the standard British Derby snap handcuffs. And this one comes by special request. There was no shortage of handcuffs made in the Derby style, okay? Now, why are they called Derbys? Well, there's a, a couple of stories going around. One is because there was actually a town called Derby in England, and, and that's kind of where it was used. Um, another one is the, the story by Arthur Conan Doyle, and again, I took that from Joe's book, about uh, how he, in one of his stories, the cop arrests somebody and says, you know, we're going to slap the Darbys on him. So. But I always thought that it was because it was shaped kind of like a letter D, depending which way you look, of course. See, like D. But anyway, there's... When you say Darby, everybody knows, and it's common knowledge, that you mean a handcuff with a screw key lock, like this one. See, it has a hollow lock tube, and inside there is an externally threaded screw and a spring. And the key is hollow, and it's internally threaded. So what you would do is... You're screwing the key onto the locking bolt that has the other threads. Pull back, there goes the spring, and it opens. Let me demonstrate. So, these types of locks are called screw locks because you're screwing the key in, just like this. And as you screw it in, it gets harder to turn because there's a spring in here that's compressing, and it opens and it pulls back the locking bolt which catches in that hole right there. I'll show you what the bolt looks like. Actually, check this out. Okay, can you see the bolt in there? It's shaped sloped on one side to snap them shut. Here, see it? See the bolt? Now that is going to catch in there. Listen for it. And that's why they're called snap cuffs. Now, Hyatt handcuffs came in a bunch of different varieties. But what we're going to concentrate on today is the, the basic traditional ones. There's the stamp. Let's see if I can get this in better. Now, this one happens to be stamped Hyatt Best. Right by the hinge there. And... See the glare of the light, but anyway, that says warranted wrought. Let's find another one with a little bit better. Here's one with a brown patina. Hyatt best, and when you turn it, see warranted wrought. And as you can tell, they weren't always uh, straight with the stamping. Here's the regular Hyatt snap, uh, usually called the Model 104. And this is the Superintendent Hyatt. Now you can tell the difference in the linkage. You can see this one here has that thick swivel. Uh, the Superintendent model has a smaller swivel and an extra link of chain. See how there's one chain link, one circle. Up here we have the one and the extra. That's pretty much a dead giveaway is how you can tell the, uh, the superintendent. Here's another one from the standard. There's the stamping high at best. And also on the top of the lock case, sometimes you find a little, in this case a Y. This has the number three on it. I'm hoping you can see that. And... Hyatt Best, Warranted Wrought, and on this side, see it says British Made, 
and hard because they came in different qualities of steel hard being the most secure and the best hi it's also manufactured an adjustable type Darby the interesting thing about Hyatt's is they also came stamped with numbers sometimes, like that's the number 60. And you see a number 8, number 66. And there's a lot of speculation as to what that meant. Here's another one, 32, number 8 again, yep. Now the numbers don't necessarily mean the size. I think it might have been a production run for a certain client or customer because these are two number eights made by the same company made by Hyatt's but notice how much thicker this one swivel is and they're not exactly the same size also stamping's a little bit different this one says Hyatt's plural that one just says Hyatt they were also stamped with only one T, but those are really early's. And I don't happen to have a pair of them yet. There's another 2T. Hyatt Best. There we go. Number 77. So they all had different numbers, and mm, nobody really knows what they meant. So if you're going to start collecting uh, British handcuffs, this is basically the Bible. It's British handcuffs. A Collector's Guide to Vintage Handcuffs by Joseph Lahr. Uh, he's the one that runs the site, handcuffs.org. A wealth of information. And if you're lucky and you're nice to him, like I was, he might even autograph it to you. There you go. <laughs> Ariok, my crazy friends, best wishes. Yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up. But in this book, there's a wealth of information about all the different makes and models. Uh pictures of like, handcuff guys just about anything you need to know about British handcuffs you can find in this book but like anything else we're always learning new stuff all the different brands there's Griffin who's this Froggett I love Froggett's Fitzwilliam and Son Fields Dowler 